today's video we are gonna talk about how to build business credit fast um, I already went into a video on personal credit today we are gonna talk about business credit because it's that much more important you ready let's go <laughs> Personal credit, business credit, a little bit different. I already have a video on personal credit. You could go check that out. But today, we talking about business credit. That's what we focus on. How to get funding, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's very easy to get funding, hundreds of thousands of dollars for your business. You don't want to do it with your personal credit because it's going to affect your life in a very negative way. Um, a lot of people try to use their own money. You don't have to. You could go to the bank and get money. It's very easy. They'll, they'll give you money for your business. It's free money. It's right there on the table. Banks want to give you money. So we're going to talk about exactly how to do that. First thing you got to do is actually start a business. You have to set up your business. An easy way to do that, you could go through LegalZoom. You could also go through a company called Zen Business. They do everything for you. They file everything for you. They create everything for you. It's simple. You pay for it, boom, there it is. What they do is they set up your LLC or your S Corp. They get your EIN number. They get your email set up for you. You can get a website through them. They make sure that everything is set up with the secretary of state they file everything for you they do everything for you it's a very easy process that's what i did i went through zen business they did everything for me and it was simple so set up your business first that's what you got to do you got to actually have a business set up after you set up your business you're going to have something called a ein number a ein number is employee identification number and basically that's like your social security uh, number for your business so anytime you do business you're gonna use your EIN number you're gonna use your EIN number for pretty much everything regarding your business with your paydex score a good paydex score to have is 80 if you have like 80 you're you're in you're good you know what i'm saying now it's time to make some you know moves so you want to get it up to about 80. but first before all of that what you want to do is you want to get a dun and brad street number and the way you get a dun and brad street number is you go to dnb.com and then from there you're going to apply for your dun and brad street number and then they're going to mail you a code in the mail That's just how they do it. Then you're gonna take that code, and with that code, you're gonna register. And then from there, you're gonna have your Dun and Bradstreet number. And look, this right here, after you do that, Dun and Bradstreet is gonna try to hit you up and try to sell you on something. That's up to you if you wanna do it. Me personally, I didn't do it because I didn't see any results for, from it, but you're free to do whatever you want. They're gonna try to sell you something, you're free to try it out. I personally, it didn't work for me. But I'm not saying anything negative about them. It just didn't work for me. Boom, there it is. So now how you build your actual business credit. So you got everything set up, right? You ready to go, you ready to take off. So there's three different levels to this. There's something called vendor credit, store credit, and cash credit. So with vendor credit, you're gonna start off with them first. But before I tell you about those three, something that you gotta know is, also one more thing when you set up your business, this right here is a jewel. You wanna get an actual business number. You don't really wanna use your cell phone because it's gonna show that you're not as professional as a business should. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to something like Grasshopper, you know, and you wanna pay for a phone number, a eight. A 800 number or whatever number you want to use but you want to look legit and another thing is you want to get an actual business address 
So when they look you up, you have an actual address. You really don't want to use your house. If you have to, that's cool, but you want to actual, actually get like a location. And there are virtual addresses and everything. All you gotta do is Google it and you can look it up. But yeah, you really don't want to use your home address. But if you have to, then you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, make sure you do those two things. So now you got everything set up, let's go back. We're gonna do, you know, the vendor credit, you know, that's first things first. See, there's gonna be different levels to this. So you can't get to the cash credit, you know what I'm saying, until you do your vendor credit. You gotta build your vendor credit up first, then you gotta build your store credit up after you graduate from the vendor credit, and then you could get cash credit. So vendor credit, I'm gonna give you guys 10 dope sites. So what I want you to do is screenshot them all. We going one through 10, ready? Boom, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten steel. There you go. There goes 10 vendor credits for you. Boom. So with those vendor credits, what you want to do is this. You want to apply to them and you want to make sure you pay everything on time. See, the thing about it is vendor credits is when you are first starting your business because you don't have any credits. So with these vendor credits, it's going to help you build up your credit because they more so cater to uh, startups and small businesses and businesses who are just getting started you know what I'm saying so after you do this there's gonna be <laughs> there's three things there's net 30 there's net 60 and then there's net 90 what that means is is that you have when you apply to some of these vendor credits and you get the credit is it's gonna say net 30 net 60 or net 90 that means that you have 30 days to pay it back, 60 days to pay it back, or 90 days to pay it back. But you've got to pay it back on time because that's how you're going to be able to build your credit. Now, when you're first starting building your credit, sometimes these businesses ask for something called a PG. That means personal guarantee. That means that sometimes you have to get a co-signer, which is that will be you. And then that's when, you know what I'm saying, your personal credit gotta be right. Cause sometimes, you know, you gotta be your own personal guarantee on your own, on, on your own business when you apply, when you first start until you build up your actual business credit. So the next one you wanna do, after you do that, you know, you build up your, you know, vendor credit, you're gonna graduate into store credit. That means Walmart, Chevron, Costco. Now, you're jumping into, you know, something a little bit bigger. And then you want to do the same thing with that. And then you want to always make sure you check. Is it net 30, net 60, or net 90? Sometimes they make you, you know, pay for something up front. Sometimes, you know, you got to pay cash at first. Sometimes they'll give it to you off of, they'll just give it to you and then you got to pay it back. But always make sure you read before you apply. Always read that fine print and everything that they say before you apply because you don't want to do it. And then you thinking that you got a net 60, but really it's a net 30. So you got to be careful with that. So vendor credit, I already gave you those. Store credit, all you got to do is Google them. There's a whole bunch of different store credits out there. And then you graduate to cash credit. That's your American Express. That's your Citibanks. Those are the banks. That's when the banks are giving you just lump sums and lump sums of bread. So if you follow all of these steps, you have all of your business set up, you do everything right, you pay it on time. I'm going to be here 10 o'clock on the dot, not 10.03, not 10.36. If you ain't got my money or my I'm killing you and him. And you make sure. See, you wanna make sure that you have a couple of things running at the same time. So when you're doing your vendor credit, get about, 
you know, three, four of them, five of them, they have been running at the same time. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to get as many. See, this is called trade lines. Everything that's going on your credit that I'm telling you as far as your business credit, those are called trade lines. So the vendor credits that I'm telling you to get, those are trade lines. You want as many trade lines on your business credit as possible because with the trade lines, the trade lines are reporting to these credit bureaus, which is the Dun & Bradstreet, the Equifax, you know, that the trade lines are reporting to them. And then that's what's making your paydex score. And the higher your paydex score, the more money that you're gonna be able to get approved for. And you could do this within, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but I'll promise you this, you're gonna have hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you pay your stuff on time, it's gonna be hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then you take that money, you do what you gotta do with it, and always make sure you uh, pay it back. That's very important. See, the good thing about having business credit is you could do so much more with business credit. A lot of these people riding around in these Rolls Royces and all of these different things, a lot of that is on their business credit. Who are buying yachts and doing all these things because it's a business expense. You could write off a whole bunch of different things as far as businesses goes, but a lot of people don't know what you could write off. You could pretty much write off any and everything. So when you see somebody, you know, riding around in a Rolls Royce, you really don't know if it's that person's Rolls Royce or if it's under his business. You know what I'm saying? People put things in their business because the worst case scenario is not on your personal credit. And if it's in your business's name, you can always file for bankruptcy. There's a lot of people who just say, you know what? I'm just going to file for, you know, for, you know, bankruptcy. And then they're still good on their personal credit. You really don't want to do that because the thing about credit, all credit is, is trust. That's all credit is. The banks want to see if I could trust you and if you are a responsible person. That's what credit is, is trust. And you know, something else about business credit is that you know, it's, you got to be on top of your taxes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to make sure you have an accountant and a good bookkeeper. I'm going to help you guys out. It's something called Hurdler. It's what I use. It's dope. With Hurdler, they, anytime you pay for anything in your business, you have your card on file, it pretty much tracks it for you. And then it keeps track of everything that you need any expenses that you pay for it keeps track of it even if you fly somewhere else it could track where you're flying and it'll um basically say yo you went from this place to this place and you could use that as a write-off because what it does is at the end of the year it keeps track of everywhere that you went as far as your as far as your transportation goes and you could write that off for taxes for your business anytime that you know you get uh you know coffee in the morning because that's a tax write-off because you need that for your energy for your business you feel me clothes anytime you know you swipe your card it goes to your hurdler and then it keeps track of it it's like your own personal bookkeeper i use that it's simple you guys could use it too the link is in the bio and if anybody has any questions, what you could do is click the link in the bio as well. You can schedule a call with me. I'll go in more detail. If y'all want to sign up for the OnlyFans, that's coming too. And I'm giving a whole lot of jewel, a whole lot of game on that. Um, I hope you guys learned something from it. And remember, stay 10 toes down for what you believe in. 10 steps ahead of the game of life. Keep staying focused, man. You got this. If you need me, I'm here. Peace and love. TSM, boy.